I think uh, I might try a control spell on Rafe. Okay. What are you intending to get for us to do, frankly? Well, I, I think what I'm, I'm uh, to some extent, use him as a as a kind of diversionary distraction to get get Wrath to to run off and start making loud loud barks, and when hopefully gathers attention to lure some of these beings away, and certainly kind of the barks might might alarm other people as well. And I could just stay in the shadows while this was transpiring to maybe get a better view of who exactly we were dealing with. Okay, that sounds like a thing you can do. Uh, but sorry, I'm starting to read about magic resistance, which I had not imagined we would need to know. I would need to know. Um, I'm also looking up ranger stuff. The ranger, the ranger special ability is. Arguably not very exciting. It doesn't let you do anything fun. fun. I imagine Freyf is is relatively biddable to your suggestion, and so you're really only sort of uh, encouraging his um, uh, uh, natural inclination to do what you what you like and, and make you happy and generally behave like a like a dog. Is there. Nice like that. Uh, so I would say it's only a, um, a one spell point spell. Um, because I'm going to use this role as, since you're going to create a diversion, I'm going to use the, I'm going to extend the logic of the spell to say, actually creating a diversion that distracts anybody um, is a magical effect, is part of the magical effect of my logic. So it's going to be a two. So it will be a two. Awesome. Does that okay. seem reasonable and make sense? So, so you're saying like a, a two column shift? No, it's going to cost you two spell points. Oh, you... two spell points. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Yep. I, was, I was working with my logic and it failed. Obviously, not doing it very well. Um, okay. Right. Uh, also, uh, your target is likely to be good for this to have the desired rather than just a normal passive. And I'll explain why later, but it won't spoil the surprise. Uh, so I did get a passable <coughs> result. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, Craig is running out into the streets, barking, making a noise, making an exhibition of himself, waking up all Christopher's <coughs> neighbours, who I imagine are already fed up with all the animal noises from Rat's Cat. Um, uh, and uh, is he trying to draw people in a particular direction? Yeah, I mean, I think what I'd do is like, if, if he gets people following him, I think would would try to. I'm staying in the shadow, so yeah. basically draw them past where where I am, just so that I could, at the very least, get a good, really good look at at who I'm dealing with. Okay, cool. That's definitely going to work then. Um, so yes, he shout. In the, he's in the middle of the road shouting out from in the shadows where you are. Um, the evil red glowing figure on the awning does jump down into the road and start in that direction and you get a better look at it. Um, I don't like the sound of that at all. Uh, you can see this is also a dog, although much bigger than Frank. Uh, black and shaggy with horns protruding from its head. I've mentioned kind of a evil red fiery flickery glow around it and big red starry eyes. Celtic um, mythology is chasing us again. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, and uh, meanwhile, the other people who were uh, uh, running down the road uh, uh, have reached front of the shop and do uh, start off following the sort of almost pointer-like um, um, dog pointer uh, dog um, stance of the evil hound creature. Uh, they start chasing off after Frack uh, down the road. And you can get a good look at them too. They are um, uh, actually, give me a knowledge roll. Uh, I'm feeble on the uh, knowledge. Okay. In that case, uh, they run past and you are convinced that these are also known on the basis of their 
flowing robes, arm pants, and produces and such like. And they start off down the road. You get a good look at them as they pursue off the harass. Okay, the, 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 the glowing yeah, creature, yeah. Do, do I have any sense of what that glowing creature is? Oh, well, that would definitely be a uh, legend. That's a poor result on that. Oh, okay. Um, clearly, you know what it is. It's some some strange uh, nomad uh, beast that you uh, you just haven't happened to see before. In and then does Rafe manage? I mean, uh, when Rafe kind of take you know goes away. Yeah. You know, having them chase. Is, is everything going after Rafe or are, is anybody staying so behind? Currently, the uh, the three people who ran past uh, are running after Rafe. They're good way down the street now. If you do remember what the, the creature momentarily distracted but turns back to the to, towards the Laxa Cat and is now working its way towards the, uh, the front end. What sort of a door do you think Laxa Cat has, by the way? Uh, um, it has a door at all? Maybe just a nice curtain. Probably, uh, well, I think it has a door. I think it ha probably has a, uh, a win, you know, a square, like the top yeah. half of the door, square window frame. Okay, cool. And maybe uh, a window next to it. Okay, cool. So it's, it's, it's moving towards the, the front door. And in a moment, if no one stops it, it's dog like face will probably be pressed against the glass. Uh, I'm going to ask <clears throat> girl what you're doing next because it seems you're the most like person to do something. And, and, and is it just the creature now or are there still some nomad looking oh, types? That around? was all the nomad people you can see. Uh, yeah, all the nomad people who you, you have seen ran down the road. for the moment, followed off after break. Um, I think what girl is going to do is I think I'm going to do a shape change. Ooh, okay. And go into my wolf form. Brr. That sounds excellent. So I roll versus uh, stamina. Roll versus stamina. Yeah. Uh, first of all, and then we'll do another roll as well. Uh, so I I got good on that okay. result. That gives you a two uh, times ten minutes, so twenty minutes worth of boom. Uh, and then can I get a will roll? Uh, I got a uh, superior result on the will. Okay, it will take uh, two combat turns to trans to fully transform as your body starts become hairier and well wow. so you need like so it, it's always going to take you a while even with a superior result that's still two two full rounds mm. yes it's a will roll versus awesome so the best you oh. can get is one, uh, one round somebody watched uh, the howling really liked that transforming <laughs> scenes like no way man they're going to take a long time Lots of close-ups of... Uh, yeah, different body it's... parts, yeah. Um, I... The, the yes, comic book artist yes. has like a page of transformation. Right. In yeah. fact, Robbie, describe some of the transformation. Oh. Um, oh, man, two rounds of this? Holy crap. <laughs> oh, like, just a little cameo bit of it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll move on, and then we'll, uh, I will ask the others what they're doing while... Oh, is, is there any noise associated with transformation? I don't know. Um, are I, you I howling at me? No, I'm not crack. Um, I, I, I do think that there's there's some pain with it, but I think I, I've done it enough that I, I at, at moments like this, I can, I you probably see a grimace uh, appearing, but yeah. surely sure, you will, all right? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Surely, surely though, you have to howl. Like, go <laughs> cool. I think we can save the howl for later. I'm sure it's going to come. So, uh, yeah, cool. So you'll. And you probably see that silvery hair kind of right. starting to spread out, uh, you know, from just the top of my head uh, as as I sprout more hair. Uh, that silver kind of oh wait, expand. so wait, 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 wait. we're seeing the shirtless, muscular back. 
Mm. And then the hair like growing out on it, right? Yes. Which is curiously and disturbingly arousing. So let's just move right along, please. So. <laughs> Uh, we can, except I, I did mean to ask, but I don't know if you did last Oh, and then time. the next panel is like a close-up on your eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, cool, so, uh, Shining Star. Uh, while girl has disappeared out of the back of the house, uh, you have taken your position downstairs. It's and I, have, I am now admiring the doggy face pressed up against the window as if looking at the Ooh. bagels. And, um... um where what are Clifford and Marmaduke doing? If they are they still on the wrong window, or have... they uh, they they would have been prowling and snarling at the at, in front of the window, uh, upstairs window where they were. Oh. Um, but you can certainly, uh, if you feel they should be doing something else, encourage them to do that. Okay, I really well, don't want to shoot one of your dogs by accident. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, one of them starts scratching leave. away at the, at the floor now. At Perhaps the floor? Response, maybe it's even scratching at the sort of the corner of where the floor is. Possibly in response to whatever may have happened outside. Since you haven't had, had a look yet, Christabel, you wouldn't right. necessarily. Uh, I guess I can have a look. Whatever I can see out the front window with my no, with my non night vision. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you can have a look. Um, yeah, you can you can pull the curtain aside, look down through what I'm there's, seeing this now. Actually, be kind of more of a there's a listen, but there's no see. Yeah, indeed, uh, I suppose. Well, I suppose that's just plain old alertness. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to make you make a roll to to see okay. down, see this creature that is pressed up against your door. Um, Actually, no. I need you to make a roll with this side. Well, it's not. Um, give me an alertness roll. Uh, you get two plus two points. Do, 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 do. That is with the column shifts. That is great. Great. Cool. Uh, absolutely. You can see this creature uh, um, pressed up against the window. Then it sort of comes down, walks into the circle. And it is, as previously described, but new to just about. Uh, a huge, um, three foot high at the shoulder, shaggy black dog with horrible glowing eyes, curly, curving horns around its head, and wreathed in flame. Uh, it looks upwards into the sky and its mouth splits into a, a grin, which is A, far too toothy for a normal dog, and B, slightly too human for it. Uh, but it hasn't seen you, so, how's it yet? Uh, oh, and that's horrible and disgusting, so give me a sanity roll. Wow, that's, that's an extremely terrifying dog. <sighs> Boy. Inferior. Inferior. You get scared by the dog. Sanity? Uh, Inferior. Oh, okay, give me a uh, stamina roll. Because apparently you faint for stamina versus superior turn. Good heavens. Stamina versus superior. Wow, that's a lot. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Uh, the second row down, it's like it's one in there. Good, good, good. All right. So that's feeble, so either five or six. I forget how you... Feeble. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, you said it was a feeble result, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you faint, which is going to be for seven turns. I'm being nice there, not times two. Um, uh, I don't think that's going to come up, so, uh, yeah. You have, for now, fainted in a pile with concerns 